The news from Burma continues to be most encouraging. Latest film dispatches include heavy attacks by RAF liberators of the Strategic Air Force Eastern Air Command. One of these attacks was made on the railway yards at Pin Manar, which is roughly halfway between Rangoon and Mandalay. The object, of course, was to cut the Japanese supply line and hamper the sending of supplies and reinforcements northwards to the defence of Mandalay. of HE and thousands of incendiaries went down on the target. We also get a glimpse of at least one 4,000 pounder. Another attack was made in support of the new front, now being opened up in Arakan. The target this time was Tanguk, which is on the coast, just south of Ramri Island, where British troops have recently landed. Tanguk was the principal Japanese supply base on the Arakan front. Six waves of liberators went over and unloaded on the dump, which was dispersed in a jungle district near the village. Another film dispatch shows the capture of Kennedy Peak, which was the next Japanese stronghold to be taken after the fall of Tidim. As we know, the 14th Army has since pushed on very fast along the road to Mandalay. But this is how they beat the Japs in the Battle of Kennedy Peak. jungle fighting, a form of battle at which the Japs once thought they had it all their own way. But the men of the 14th have long since taken their measure. These pictures of the battle leave no doubt about that. Beaten back and hunted out from their strong points in the jungle, Japanese survivors abandoned Kennedy Peak and retreated south. It was another victory for the 14th, but they know that the Japs are resolved to fight all the way. Or in spite of defeats, the Jap still believes in the superiority of his race and the divinity of his emperor. <laughs> <laughs> 